From the Zane Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zane Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, pop culture and indeed more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time now for the introductions. In this Round one game, entering from my right is the Zane Scholars team from the University of Zambia. Tafalo Mutenda, third year law, Chingola. Wesley Ngongo, first year, Nature Sciences, Lusaka. Inoxi Abalo, first year, Natural Sciences, Lusaka. And from my left, it's the Zane Scholars team from Buimbili University, Tanzania. Beatrice Scotti, fifth year, Medicine, Manyoni. Andrew Liaru, fourth year, medicine, motion. Gregory Mandari, fifth year, dental surgery, Dar es Salaam. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional, and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. And if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions, followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First, in the center position for Muhimbili University, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, is Beatus. Beatus. Tanzania, for me, might equal national parks. Choose one to tell us about. Well, it's Serengeti National Park. This is the park located in the northern part of Tanzania. It's one of the biggest tourist attractions in Africa, I can say. And it is well known for its being rich in the varieties of animals, especially the big four. It's a pride of Tanzania. The big four, not the big five? Big five. You? The big yeah. five. Yes. Let's make them five. Enoch, from the University of Zambia. Yes, John. Victoria Falls equals Zambia for me. Can we spend the whole program talking about Victoria Falls? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, it's really, really marvelous. It's actually situated between Zambia and Zimbabwe along the Zamb Zambezi River. It's actually about 1.8 kilometers in width, making it the largest curtain of water in the world. Truly marvelous sight. Well, you know some astounding details. I hope you know some astounding details about our first four categories. You won the toss earlier on to start. Let's take the Zane Challenge, round one. Have a look at our first four categories, and they are M is for Metals, River Cities of Africa. That's a foul. Yes, we can. M for Metals, please. M is for Metals, it is. Which metal beginning with M was long known as Quicksilver? Zambia? Mercury. It's correct for 20 bonus points. Carrots. Flasks, ingots, mercury is internationally sold in which of those units? Flasks. It's correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 30. Enoch, choice of category, please. M is for metals, John. Metals it is. Which lightest metal beginning with M is found in Epsom salts and in a kind of milk used to soothe digestive disorders? Muhimbili. Kasha. Now I'm turning it over to Zambia. Magnesium. Magnesium it is for 20 bonus points. 
Most of the world's magnesium is from which Asian nation that helped build Kenya's Moi International Sports Center? China. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 60. Enoch, choice of category, please. M is for metals. M is for metals, it is. Meteoritic iron was first used in which Northeast African nation? Moimbili. Somalia. I'm turning it over to the University of Zambia. Should be uh, Sudan. No, it should be Egypt. <laughs> Enoch, choice of category, please. M is for metals. M is for metal, it is. Which metal beginning with M is named after the developer of the periodic table? University of Zambia. Mendelevium. It's correct for 20 bonus points. Which property beginning with M is the ability of a metal to be beaten or rolled thin without breaking? Malleability. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 90. Enoch, choice of category, please. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Meteorites on Earth have come from the moon and which cold, rocky planet? University of Zambia. Neptune. No, I'm turning it over to Muhimbili. Mars. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Other meteorites have come from asteroids and which icy objects with irregular orbits? Comets. Is correct. Bringing your total to 30, Muhimbili. Bear, choice of category, please. River cities of Africa. It is. Kazombo is far upstream on the Zambezi River in which Atlantic coast nation? University of Zambia. Angola. Is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. One. Tete is the largest city on the Zambezi in which Portuguese speaking country? Mozambique. Is correct. Two. Cariba, for which the Zambezi Dam is named, is in which country? Zambia, of course. <laughs> That's correct for 20 points. Enoch, choice of category, please. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Which word can name either a leased apartment or the musical opposite of a sharp? University of Zambia. Flat. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which C is a building divided into privately owned residences? Condominium. That is correct. And two, which T is someone who rents a flat from a landlord? Tenant. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 150 against Muhimbili's 30. Enoch, choice of category, please. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Which famous mountaineer's death in 2008 was recognized by the lowering of flags to half-mast in New Zealand? University of Zambia. Sir Edmund Hillary. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Other famous New Zealanders include, one, which star of American Gangster and 310 to Yuma? Russell Crowe. That is correct. Two, which Nobel winning physicist who discovered the atomic nucleus? Rutherford. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 180. End of round one. I'll repeat the score. It stands at 30 for Muhimbili University against 180 for the University of Zambia. Now, whenever a team makes its first appearance on the Zane Africa Challenge, we think our viewers right across the continent should find out something about its university. So here's a profile of the University of Zambia. The University of Zambia is the country's largest university. It was founded in 1966. Unusual for a university in Africa, the University of Zambia has a nanotechnology research center that was founded in 2001. The mission of the University of Zambia, as proclaimed in its motto, service and excellence, is stated in the plan as to meet the needs of individuals and society through excellence in teaching and learning. The University of Zambia is the only school in Zambia that offers medicine. It's the only school in Zambia which offers law, which has been my dream for some time. The university began with three schools, education, humanities and social sciences, and natural sciences, and later added law, engineering, medicine, agricultural sciences, mines, business and industrial studies, environmental studies, and veterinary medicine. It's one of the most prestigious schools in the country, and, and everyone wants to go there. Scenes from the campus of the University of Zambia. Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 30 for Mohimbili University against 180 for the University of Zambia. We have two new face-off players in center position. Wesley from the University of Zambia. Victoria Falls, two. Uh, well, I can tell you that uh, the Victoria Falls was named after Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom by the Scottish explorer Dr. David Livingstone. But before that, it had some local names, and one of those is uh, Shimbu Namtitima, which is in the Tonga language. There's also Mosi Otunya in the Lozi language, and it means uh, the smoke that thunders. 
The smoke that thunders. When I was a young lad, there was a band that came from, from your country called Mossy Otunya. We loved it. And Andrew, Tanzania, national parks. Well, I choose Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the highest peak in Africa, which is covered by snow, surprising it's found in equatorial region. And also in the, along the slopes of Mount Kilimanjaro, it's where you find beautiful flowers and different species of plants. And down to the, to the slopes, you'll find Chaga people who hospitality is their way of life. I hope your way of life will have something to do with choosing a category. Your team is behind. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are economics, global organizations, inventions and discoveries, mixed bag. Global organizations. It is. The Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa received over 250 million US dollars from which computer moguls foundation? University of Zambia. Bill Gates. Is correct for 20 points. The Gates Foundation's largest donation is 1.5 billion USD for which simple procedure to prevent diseases like polio? Vaccination. Vaccination. Yes, for 20 points, bringing your total to 210. Wesley, choice of category, please. Uh, global organizations. It is. The UN watchdog group IAEA monitors the activities of nations using which energy source? University of Zambia. Radiation. No, I'm turning it over to Muhimbili. Nuclear. Yes, for 20 bonus points. North Korea, Iran, Pakistan. Which nation considered a rogue state withdrew from the IAEA in 1994? Iran. No, the correct answer is North Korea. Andrew, choice of category, please. Global organizations. It is. Which aid organization providing medical care in war-torn regions was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1999? <coughs> University of Zambia. Doctors Without Borders. Yes, for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. What Without Borders promotes freedom of the press? Journalists. No, reporters. Two, the DRC, Namibia, Somalia. Which of these ranked highest on the 2008 Freedom of Press Index? Namibia. Namibia is correct for 10 points, bringing your total to 230. Wesley, choice of category, please. Uh, global organizations. It is. Which name for a four-member musical ensemble also names a group promoting peace in the Middle East? <coughs> University of Zambia. Quite it. Is correct. <laughs> and that flash of lightning means that you get today's Zane Super Bonus for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, which today is football. Please watch your screen for 10 points. Identify the club by their home kits. One. Barcelona. Two. Juventus. Three. Manchester City. That is correct. For 30 points, bringing your total to 270 against Mohimbili's 40. Wesley, choice of category, please. Inventions and discoveries. It is. Which prolific American inventor was first to market the distribution of electrical power in 1882? <coughs> University of Zambia. Thomas Edison. It's correct. For 20 bonus points. 3D pictures, films, phonographs. Edison also marketed a kinetoscope, the predecessor to which medium? Films. It's correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 300. Wesley, choice of category, please. Inventions and discoveries. Inventions it is. Which flying machine includes skids, cockpit, a main rotor, and a tail rotor? <coughs> Mohimbili. Helicopter. That is correct for 20 bonus points. Which type of amphibious craft is supported by a cushion of high pressure air? Overcraft. Overcraft. Time up. You did give the correct answer too late, I'm afraid. End of round two. <laughs> the score stands at 50 for Muhimbili University against 300 for the University of Zambia. Now, by way of international introduction, let's place the spotlight on Muhimbili University in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Located in Tanzania with a state-of-the-art hospital, Muhimbili University of Health and Allied Sciences, or MUHAS, offers a range of programs in basic, clinical, and allied health sciences, medicine, pharmacy, dentistry, nursing, public health, social sciences, traditional medicine, and ICT. This is the place where most of the people performed well, uh, went to study medicine, 
and it, uh, I can say, I can call it as a village of intellectuals. Because once you go to Mwimbili, at the end, you are going to be a good doctor. Mwimbili University's mission is to seek for quality health through education, training, research, and health services for attainment of equitable socioeconomic development by supplying graduates who go to become key policymakers, experts, and personnel in the health sector. Basically, it is the best university around. I mean, majoring in, in medical sciences, and so I figured going to the best would mean that I would be part of the best. Seen from the campus of Muhimbili University, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. This is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries and all the participating universities themselves. Thank you very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards, round three. The score stands at Mohimbili, 50, the University of Zambia, 300. In the center positions, we now have Kapalu for the University of Zambia, and perhaps a trick question for you, Kapala. Are there any other waterfalls of note in Zambia? Well, when beautiful waterfalls were being given out, Zambia was definitely first in line. We have a lot of beautiful falls other than the Mosi Otunya. There's the Kalambo Falls, which is of particular beauty, as well as the Chishimba Falls and also the Mambelima Falls are spread around Zambia. So if you're ever in Zambia, you should take time to visit them. Lucky you. I won't be too jealous. I'm going to go to Greg and we'll continue our choice of Tanzanian national parks. I'd pick Ngorongoro. Ngorongoro National Park is in the north region of the, of the country. It has the Ngorongoro Crater, which is the largest in the world, and quite beauty to see. It's, it has the big five animals, and also there's a conservation in which the Maasai people live in it. It's quite a beauty. Plus, it also has hot moving sands. Right. I hope you're going to make a good choice of category now because you've got everything to play for. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are artistic terms from A to E. It's the law. Where am I? Where am I? It is. If I'm touring the islands of Ido, Ikoi, and Victoria, in which city am I? Muhimbili. Nakuru. I'm turning it over to Zambia. Mombasa. No, the correct answer is Lagos, Nigeria. Greg, choice of category, please. Where am I? It is. If its name means haven of peace in Arabic, which African coastal city am I in? Muhimbili. Dar es Salaam. Indeed, Dar es Salaam for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, Kalambo Falls, the second highest in Africa and near the southern tip of which great lake? Banguelo. No, the correct answer is Tanganyika. Two, the wildlife of the Serengeti include which white bearded antelope? Impala. No, the wildebeest or gnu. Greg, choice of category, please. Where am I? It is. Which African capital am I visiting if its name means big mountain in the Kinyarwanda language? Mohimbili. Kigali. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, Kigali was Belgium. founded in 1907 Belgium. under which European country's colonial rule? Belgium. No, Germany. Two, foods, machinery, ores. Which are Rwanda's most yeah. valuable exports? Ores. Foods. Gregory. Choice of category, Where please. Where am I? It is. I'm in an official capital city, formerly called Ngokro, that was the home of Queen Yamuso. Where am I? University of Zambia. Yamusukro. Yes, for 20 bonus points. Which is the de facto capital Abidjan. and largest city of Abidjan. Cote d'Ivoire? Abidjan. That is correct. Two, which animal appears on the Ivory Coast's coat of arms? Elephant. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 330 against Mohimbili 70. Kapalu, choice of category, please. It's the law. It's the law. Which P is a person or company that files a lawsuit against a defendant? <coughs> University of Zambia. Plaintiff. It's correct for 20 bonus points. Which other P term is the crime of knowingly making false statements under oath? Perjury. It's correct for 20 points. 360 is your total. Kapalu, choice of category, please. It's the law. It's the law it is. Which B word names money held as a guarantee that a defendant will appear in court? <coughs> Mohimbili. Bail. It's correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, 
Which R is a temporary break in a court proceeding? Recess. Is correct. Two, which A term means a postponement or suspension of proceedings? Adjourned. Yes, for 20 points. End of round three. The score stands at 100 points for Mohimbili University, Tanzania, against 360 for the University of Zambia. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4GB iPod. The third correct player wins a 2GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zane airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, in 2009, who was sworn in as Nigeria's second female Supreme Court Justice? Is it A, Aloma Mariam Mukhtar? B. Olufunola Oyelola Adekeye or C. Saudatu Usman Bungudu SMS your answer to 33996 Choose A for Aloma Mariam Mukhtar B. Olufunola Oyelola Adekeye or C. Saudatu Usman Bungudu Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes Happy playing, everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at Mohimbili University 100, the University of Zambia 360. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. Mohimbili University, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are history of the 21st century, fractions, who, what, where, highs and lows in Africa. Highs and lows in Africa. Highs and lows it is. Take a deep breath, gentlemen. Name the nation from its highest and lowest geographic features. And seconds away, Musa Ali and Lake Asal near the Red Sea. Djibouti. Yes. Mount Stanley and Lake Albert. Uganda. Yes. Mount Tahat north of Niger and Chot Malria. Mali. No. Mount Maramokotro and the Indian Ocean all round. Somalia. No. Tanakuru and the Black Falter River. Ghana. No. Mount Afadiato near Togo and the Atlantic. Benin. No. Jesuti and the Lesotho border and the Southern Ocean. Lesotho. No. My Finger Hills near Malawi and the Zambezi River. Zambia. Yes. Mount Bintumani or Loma Mansa and the Atlantic. Malay. No. Karisimbi Volcano and the Rusizi River below Lake Kivu. Um, DRC Congo. No. Mount Tahat north of Niger and Chot Melhir. Nigeria. No. Mount Maramokotro and the Indian Ocean all round. Somalia. No. Tenakuru and the Black Falter River. Ivory Coast. No. Time's up. You answered three questions correctly, earning 150 points and bringing your grand total to 150. Let's look at the ones that you got wrong. Mount Tahat, Chot Melhir, Algeria. Mount Maramokotro, Indian Ocean, Madagascar. Tenakuru, the Black Volta, Burkina Faso. Mount Afadiato, the Atlantic, Ghana. Jesuti, Southern Ocean, South Africa. Mount Bitumani, the Atlantic, Sierra Leone. And finally, Karisumbi, Volcano, Rusizi River, Rwanda. The University of Zambia, you cannot lose, but you have something to play for in getting all 10 answers in your category correct to win 500 US dollars in cash. Which of our three remaining categories might you choose? Who, what, where? Who, what, where it is. 
Take a deep breath, gentlemen. Which person, place or thing is or was, and seconds away, the founder and CEO of New Corp and Fox News? Yes. The city where Nobel Peace Prize is awarded? Yes. The first president of the Palestinian National Authority? Yes, I it. Yes. The African country whose name means warrior king? Swaziland. No. The supersonic passenger aircraft Con Con Yes. Con the Asian nation of 2007 Saffron Revolution? India. No. Iran's no. current no. president? Ahmadinejad. Yes. The order of insects making up one fifth of all animal species? Arishin. No. The major Paris. city? Yes. The metal directly above gold on the periodic table? Silver. Silver. Yes. The African country whose name means. Lesotho. No. The Asian nation of 2007 Malaysia. Saturn. No. The order of insects making up one fifth of all animal species. In uh, insects. No. The African country whose name means warrior king. Burkina Faso. No. The Asian nation of 2007 Nepal. Saffron. No. The order of insects making up one fifth of. Wild. You answered seven correctly giving you a total of 350 in the ultimate challenge, to give you a grand total of 710, and to make the University of Zambia today's winner of the Zane Africa Challenge. <laughs> Let's see the ones that you got wrong. The Warrior King, Ghana, Saffron Revolution, Myanmar, and Insect Order, Beetles. Mohimbili University, we have to say goodbye to you. You'll be taking away 500 US dollars each plus 5,000 dollars as an institutional grant for your university. The University of Zambia, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you again in another round. And you're in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, Mzuzu University, Malawi, takes on the University for Development Studies, Ghana, in the international inter-university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. Do join us again from all of us here. It's bye-bye. Till next time. salute all the universities who competed in the Zane Africa Challenge this year. Each participating university holds open and transparent student tryout testing. Top students are invited to join the Zane Africa Challenge Scholars Club. The club meets regularly to master the rules of the game, get to know one another and prepare for the inter-university competition. The teams in each country compete at national qualifying tournaments. The top teams advance to the International Championship Festival. From the national qualifying tournaments through the international championship, Zane is proud to award individual, institutional and travel grants totaling over 1 million US dollars.
For more information on the competitions this year, visit the ZaneAfricaChallenge.com website.